hello, how are you all? It's Karen and Alex with Karen's Stamping Place. We have a very fun card to do for you guys today. I hope you're gonna love it. I know we have had so much fun creating this card for you today. Hi. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Alex is checking it out. Karen and Alex, it's it's on the computer. <laughs> So we're just gonna start and turn you guys down so you can see what we're working with and what we're gonna do today. Excuse the hands. Sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so we are going to use the Flowering Tulip stamp set. We're going to use the Tulip Fields stamp set, and we're going to use the die cuts. Sorry, I wanted to show you them in the catalog. <laughs> and we're gonna use the die cuts that go with them. Hi, Donna. Hi, sis. Okay, so this is what we're using. And so the flowering tulips have a beautiful die set of tulips to cut out. And the Tulip Fields has this wonderful set of dies and then we have the butterflies and we have the evening evergreen and the wonderful beautiful tulip paper this is a fun flowering field paper designer series paper okay let me get that over there guess what we're gonna make today we're gonna make a pinwheel tower card Yay! i'm so excited okay let me get these stamp sets moved I'm going to show you one Alex did. Now, do you have a side that you like yours to start with? This one. Which one? The one. Okay. So, these do fit in an envelope. I'll show you in just a minute. So, Alex made this one. She used the mm. beach. <laughs> the palms. The palms. How cute that is. Alex and her sunsets and shadowing. That's her favorite thing to do, I believe. Oh, but that's so, so cute, isn't it? And then she made it a birthday card. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to show you. See, it's going to fit right in an envelope. Let me show you. Okay, so mine starts here with the Hartley. And it's, it's the garden something set. <laughs> I can't remember. It says each day is a new beginning. And then we move on and we've got some garden tools. And then we move on and it says thanks for helping me grow. And then this is space for writing a note. And then back to the beginning. And then they can stand it up and they can look at it every which way they want. I know we love them. Huh. I it's fun. <laughs> oh, and I use the Paradise Palms. Thank you. What did I use? The Garden Haunt and Hall. I used Tool Shed, right? It was the um, Tool Tool something. No, right. Garden Greenhouse Bundle and Home and Garden. Oh, Home and Garden. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to close this. We're going to put it back in its envelope. I just love these cards. So much fun. Okay, so without further ado, let me get my trimmer and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, so let me pull the trimmer back so you can see. Okay, so you're gonna take a piece that is five and a fourth. Alex has to help me because I don't have the measurements written down. Let me pull it up. Well, what am I being so silly? I got a thing right here. Five and three quarters. By four and a fourth. Five and three quarters, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is a little long. I'm going to trim it. Five and three quarters by four and a fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's perfect. And then you're going to score it every three quarters of an inch mm -hmm. for four times. So you're going to score it three quarters. One and a half. One and a half. Two and a fourth. Yeah. 
and then we're going to score at three. Okay, and that's all we're going to score at for that. Let me put my trimmer aside. Get rid of my scrap here. Next, we're going to go ahead and just fold those score lines, and I'm going to crease them. Each one, we're going to form a little box. When you get this finished, now I didn't use liquid glue on the first one, but I'm going to use liquid glue on this one, okay? Um, it doesn't matter. Liquid glue just gives you a little more wiggle room if you want it. I wouldn't go crazy. You know, you just want some, some glue there. And then you just want to fold that down and get it to adhere to the other side, like so. Now I'm just going to hold my fingers in there for a second. I might try to stick my bone folder down in there to just burnish that glue a little bit, because that does work. Okay, and that is down, and there's the start of your pinwheel tower. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next thing you need are three pieces of two and a fourth. Two and three fourths by four and a fourth. Okay, two and three fourths by four and a fourth. Okay, three pieces. Sorry, I should have wrote those measurements down and had them in front of me, but I don't. Okay, so the next thing I did I gotta decide which one I want as my front. So I went ahead and cut my paper and I'm using the flowering fields and I'm using two of the same and one that's a little different. That's just how I roll. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be really cute. I think so. And I cut these down by an eighth. So this is two and three fourths. So this would be two and five eighths. Five eighths, okay. And this is four, what was it, four and a, I think it's four, four and a fourth. fourth? Yes, four and a fourth. So it'd be four and an eighth, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape these down and then we'll get to decorate a little bit. Now if you guys have any questions on this, please feel free to ask. We aren't the pros at it, but we will answer the best we can um, because we have made, this is our third. Alex made one, I made one, and we kind of are making this one together mm -hmm. um, just because it's easy for us to collab. Oh, I can't even say the word, collaborate. Alex and I, you know, we think alike most of the time. Oh, the bike got in the picture. I'm going to show taking you that. A bike. Yeah, that well, that's not the right bike because remember I went back and I said, oh, it's oh, Poppy right. Parade. That's so we're right. going to have to die cut a new bike. Okay, so this didn't lay down right for me. So catch it early. I do like the eights. I didn't use eights on mine, so it just kind of is all DSG, but I like the small border of the I do basic too. Bike. I mean, it just gives it such a classic look finish. Mm -hmm. You know. It's nicely framed. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all right. Okay, so I've got the two down. Now I'm going to put the third. If you're worried about um, cutting eights and layering it, use Tombow so you have a little bit more wiggle room. Absolutely. It helps me kind of line up um, everything with eights. I just go for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna start attaching our pieces. So the first piece we're going to attach is this one. So again, I'm gonna use some Tombow on this just cause we want it good and strong. And I just feel like it's, I don't know, 
really good to have. Okay, so we've got some wiggle room there. We get that lined up along the back and we're just gonna let that sit for a minute and just give that a little push so it can dry. The next thing we're gonna do is adhere this purple all from the tulip paper, I just love it. This paper is very bright and happy. It really is. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna just get that one set for a minute. Let that stay on there. I'm just rubbing it with my thumbs just to get it to stay. And then, you can start folding it also if you want to and rub it that way because this should fold flat, okay? And now I'm gonna do my last one on here. And those pieces will all be put on. Okay, now again, I'm just gonna rub this a little bit. I'm gonna open it up so I make sure I get it right where I want it. Okay, so remember it is Tombow, it does wiggle. And you don't want, you don't want it in the wrong spot, so. Oh no, did you slip? Slipped out just a little bit, okay, good. Everything's lined up. All right, so now we have this other side that's blank and just white. Well, I took the opposite side of the paper, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and just layer this down. So this one is cut at one and seven eighths by four and an eighth, okay? And then we're just gonna layer that down. And I'm gonna put the right paper next to it so it looks right. Which this didn't come out as eighthy as I wanted. Does that make sense? It, it doesn't have the eighth as big as I wanted it. But that happens sometimes, but that's okay. Look at that, isn't that cool? cool? That's really cool how that worked out. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the other one I'm gonna pray it worked out the same. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm just using Tombow still. That's gonna be my go-to glue for this card today. I'm getting it everywhere. Okay, let me pick that up. And let me adhere this down. That is not what I wanted to do, but we're going with it. I actually wanted this. I thought you were making like a creative decision. <laughs> oh, Alex, 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 Alex. Oh, well, but this is really it cool. It lines up really well. It does. We're going with it, okay? If it didn't, it'd be a little bit weird, but yeah, yeah it really works out. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna take the opposite, because <laughs> that's what I really wanted. <laughs> And we're gonna run some adhesive on the back, okay? And we're gonna take some twine and we're gonna wrap it around. Well, yeah, okay. What? Mm, a little bit off camera, but you're doing Am it right I? Now. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm off camera. Okay, so we're gonna kind of pull it a little bit tight so that we get the tightness that we want. And then we're just gonna wrap it around. My fingers are now a little bit tacky from the glue. So, you're gonna notice things sticking to me. We need to keep some hand sanitizer over We there. do, because that would be a 
amazing. Okay, so I'm going to take my last piece there. So I've wrapped it around three times and I'm going to just cut my twine off. Okay. Cute. And then you can take and adjust it on the front where you want it. And then we can go back in with our glue. Sometimes I have to tell it who's boss and tell it to work for me, please, today. It's like, mm, I've been used a lot. I know, right? I don't want to, I don't want to play nice anymore. No. Okay, just making sure I get the glue all the way around because this has um, a thickness to it now with the twine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just put this down. I like that even with this, it still has the same colors. Like there's Rich Razzleberry and um, Highland Heather and Fresh Frisia, and you can see the Rich Razzleberry like right there. Yes. And I really meant to use the other side on the other pieces, but I got excited because they lined up. <laughs> they so lined up We really went with well. it. <laughs> they were lining up awesome. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one. Okay, since I have it open. I took my rectangle draw dies, the rectangled stitch dies, and I cut this one out, and I'm just gonna glue it down, and it's out of fresh Frasia. And so we're just gonna give that some liquid glue, and we're gonna just add this right in the middle. Our tulips are still showing. It's really cute still. Mm -hmm. The next thing I did is I stamped on crumb cake with early espresso this windmill. Okay, so I tried to do a few things ahead of time so that you guys didn't have to sit all day and watch me die cut and stamp. If you wanted to give it more of a three-dimensional look, you could take the crumb cake or one of the natural blends and just go over certain parts of it Absolutely. and it would help to pop the um, 3D mm -hmm. look of it. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to put it down there and then we also cut some clouds ahead of time so we could get this page, you know, kind of done for you. Just, you know, we know your time's precious right now, so. Okay, so I'm gonna let this one go up here. Cute. Okay, and then we need this other cloud, and it's gonna kinda slide right in here. So let me just put a little glue on the back there. I like the shape of these clouds. I do too. They're so cool. They're big and fluffy. So that page is just about done. I'm going to take my twine now and I'm going to double loop it and I'm going to cut it. And I probably have way too much, but that's okay. And I'm going to you can do it. Make a bow, a double loop bow. And I really love our twine when it's double looped. I don't mm -hmm. know why, it just, there's just something about it. It just looks really good together. So if you're curious about this card, Alex will link it below. Mm -hmm. um, by 6 p.m. tonight, my blog will go live and we will have a tutorial up mm -hmm. for this. Okay, I'm going to take a glue dot let me find one, there's one. It will be the um... we're going to take a glue dot and just put it right there and we'll put our bow there. So yes, we will have the tutorial up on my blog so that if you want, you can go just um, copy it. 
can download it. You can That's download what it. I meant. Okay. All right. That page is done. It's cute. Now we're going to do this page. Actually, I want to do this page because this is going to be the very front. When you open it, that's what you're going to see. And so what we have for this page is a piece of Whisper uh, Basic White, okay? And I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, um, let today be the start of something new. And we're gonna stamp that in Poppy Parade. Okay, now I did bring a mat over. Oh, it's right in front of me. Because I'm using photopolymer, I am going to stamp on a mat. Now I didn't check this Poppy Parade beforehand, so I've been finding my inks are a little on the dry side lately. Um, Could be because the weather's changing. Well, it's just dry. We've had a dry winter. I mean, yes, we've had some moisture, but it's mm -hmm. still Not really a lot. dry here. Yeah. We are in Arizona. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a bicycle. Now the bicycle is in the, oh, I put it over here. I should have left it open so I could show you. Okay, the bicycle is in the dies from the tulip fields. So there's the bicycle right there, and I just love that bicycle, and I've been wanting a reason to use it. Mm -hmm. Well, now I have it. I'm going to give that to Alex, so if we need to find anything else. I'm using our adhesive sheets, okay? Our adhesive sheets are going to work because look how tiny this bicycle is. There's really nowhere to put glue. So I'm going to take a piece of Poppy Parade, and I'm going to lay it on the adhesive sheet. Okay, so you just kind of lift it, okay, and then you put your cardstock where you want it. See, it's already lifting off onto me, okay, and then we're going to cut that off. It's okay if it's a little crooked or whatever, it, it, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to bring in my little die cut and emboss machine, my favorite. I just love it. It doesn't take up much space. Mm -mm. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> do you guys do that? Do you get stuff stuck to you and then you have to go diving for it on the floor? So that's what happened. It was stuck to me. Okay. Because I've got some glue all over my fingers <laughs> all right i love this die cut and emboss machine guys yes this is a little stiff <laughs> but look it doesn't take up any space on my desk mm -mm. i just love it okay all right i'm gonna pull that bike off and there we have Ooh. The bike, come on out. I hope you die cut all the way for me. I know it did. It's just being sticky. Ha <laughs> ha! Not tricky, sticky. Right there in that corner. Okay, so what's really nice too is sometimes when you pull it off, the parts stay with it so you don't yeah. have to poke them out. But I'm going to sit and poke a little bit right here. And they all come out real easy. It's not difficult at all. Okay, maybe I'm, it wants to come the other direction. Okay. So just remember, everything's being a little sticky right now. It will all come apart in the end. And if you find your fingers are sticky, the, um, hand sanitizer, sanitizer really helps get the sticky off. It really does. A wonderful friend of ours told us about that. Okay, so now I just need to go back in and just wipe off some of those pieces that are 
being obnoxious and wanting to stay on. There's one right there. And yeah, there's a bunch. Actually, today it's being awful. Just gotta wipe those away. Maybe because of how thin it is. It is really thin. And um, lots of little bitty pieces. Okay, yay! Oh, really done. Too long. No. Now they're sticking to the table. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be cleaning this afterwards. Okay. So now we're going to take the piece I just stamped. And I can use li liquid glue or I can use this. Yes, I know it's stuck to me, huh? Mm -hmm. But this is right here in front of me, my adhesive. And I'm just going to let this one go down in the center. And look, guys. Oh, there's still one piece up by the basket. Okay. Look at how cute is this bicycle. It's super cute. Oh, my gosh. I just love it, guys. Look at that. That came out adorable. Oh, I just love that. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet, okay? I'm just going to take some time. Love it. I was thinking I needed to do yellow, but I really love it in the red. Oh, mm -hmm. that's adorable. So now we have the start and we're going, okay? Now, for this page here, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. I think I still have enough. Pick up my trimmer. Let's see if we have enough. It is four and a fourth. Yep, we have plenty. By, I'm gonna just do, oh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna do four and an eighth, okay? So I have a, oh, I did do four and an eighth, I guess, okay. And I'm going to do one and an eighth, just so we have a little bit extra, okay. Set that over there. Now a piece here needs to be trimmed. A little higher. Oh, sorry, I trimmed that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Now I'm gonna just take some adhesive. And I'm going to add this poppy right here. See, this is the page we're gonna do writing on. Mm -hmm. So that's what we wanna do there, okay? Although look, well, maybe that's just, look, I have a trusty eraser over here. You know, we can't live without those. Mm -mm. And if you can't find them anymore, I know my Dollar Tree has them for a dollar. Oh yeah, that took it right off. It did, There's it was just glue. glue. So thank goodness for that. Okay, so that cleaned right up. And then, um, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna stamp some tulips now, okay? So we're gonna get all of this out of the way and we're gonna stamp a couple tulips and a couple stems. Oops, almost sent it sailing. Okay, still trying to get all that stuff off me. All right, so we have this one. Let's see. I forgot which one goes with which now. Do you want to look? Yeah, I need to look because they're, they're set together. Okay, so the little one goes with that one, and the little bit bigger one goes with this one. Gotcha. You'll see when I stamp them. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Okay, the first two I'm going to do in Highland Heather. So I'm going to stamp the darker one first. And I'm gonna stamp a couple of them. Okay, so I might need one or two or three. We're not sure yet, okay. I like how you can pick like two colors from the paper and really carry it through. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna stamp with Fresh Freesia next. Now we're just gonna kind of line this up it's two-step stamping, and look at that. Cute. You have a little bit of a difference of the tulip. 
and we're gonna do it again, and we're gonna do it again. Okay, now on the other side, I'm gonna stamp some the other tulips, and I'm going to use Mango Melody and So Saffron. We'll see how what happens, you know? So we're gonna stamp the bigger part in the Mango Melody. My Mango Melody for some reason is um, two-toned. Oh, I'm not getting it up high enough. Okay, there we go. It is, but it's kind of cool on the, on it the for the tool. Now we're gonna use the So Saffron. And we're gonna go in on the side right there. And that's just gonna add a little bit of a light color. To your two-toned mango And it's, melody. guys, this isn't hard to do. Mm -mm. Well, I'm two-step really stamping with photopolymer stamps and you can see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's just right there in front of you. Okay, now we're gonna stamp a couple of stems. And I can put one stem right down the middle. Get the most out of my die cutting at one time. And then I'm gonna take a smaller piece actually. And I'm going to stamp that. Just a couple more times. <clears throat> and then I've got a leaf here. There's more leaves than just this one, but I'm just going to use this one. Because you can also flip it upside down. Absolutely. Okay, there's some good leaves. All right, now we're gonna bring out the die cut machine again. And we're gonna do some die cutting. Hey, Sorry, okay. Alex, I'm gonna load you up over there with everything. That's okay. Okay, so we've got our little die cut machine again, which I love. And we can take, it is going to be this die cut. Now I'm gonna find a little bit flatter side. <clears throat> this does not have a magnetic plate, and I normally use uh, post-it note tape, but there are post-it notes over there if you don't mind. Give me one. Sometimes I just have to use post-it notes because they just don't want to stick anymore. Okay, let's see. Here's the stem. Not stick, I shouldn't say stick. My, my mat is curved. And so because of that, things don't want to cut in the right place. I need to get some new um, mats. I said that about my big machine, now I'm saying that about my little machine. I need new mats, but it's the truth. When they're not so warped, things cut a little better. Okay, and then I need this one. You <laughs> can't get it off. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna take and die cut those three out to save a little bit of time. I just ran out of time beforehand or I would have had these things die cut. But that's okay. We'll do it together. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one. Let me move some of this other stuff. There's a stem. There's a flower, a tulip. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this other tulip. I'm gonna go ahead and that post-it note, find where it's sticky. Tape that down. I'm gonna do this one over here. 
and give that one a post-it note. Okay, I'm gonna die cut that real quick. You can see it doesn't really take a long time. Mm -mm. And it's fun. It goes by really quick. Could you imagine, oh sorry, I'm shaking the table. Could you imagine fussy cutting all these? <laughs> now that would take me a while. Okay, I'm gonna grab this last tulip right here on this paper, and then I'll get our leaves and our stems. One more. So everyone, how's your weather where you're at? We are getting warm. We had winds like no other. Oh my gosh, yes. Like hurricane force winds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, oh, and so we grateful were like, it's done. High weather and now it's cold. <laughs> yeah, but it's supposed to get in the 80s sometime next week for Tucson. So that'll give us about yeah. 70, 75. Our weather. We it's have very wacky much weather. Like, we are yes. on a roller coaster. Yes. <laughs> but I'll take it. Don't give me that ice and snow and stuff that my daughter in law is experiencing bad ice storms right now in Oklahoma. Ooh, those aren't fun. Yeah, she said it was a negative three yesterday. And then my sister in Montana, she's experiencing all that cold. So, yeah, they can have it. And if you live in one of those states, I don't mean to offend you. I just like it warm. <laughs> and I don't like that wind. And I can't even imagine having sleet and ice. I just, I just can't even imagine that. In Arizona, it's very uncommon for it to happen. In, nine, so. in 2019, we had three inches of snow. It mm -hmm. closed the fort. Um, the schools. The, yeah, <laughs> it closed the schools. Or maybe it was a late start. Day. No, I think, I think they closed it. I think they closed the schools and then the next day was a late start yeah. day. We just don't know how to... No, we don't know, we how, don't to know how to do function that. when it's snowing. <laughs> no, we go outside and we watch it and we're like, yippee! <laughs> and dogs refuse to go outside. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to actually I'll fix that in just a minute. One more leaf, okay guys? And then Alex can fussy cut out that stem. It's almost cut out, but um, yeah. And I keep forgetting my bottom plate. And there's my top plate. And there we go. Yay. And I'll give Alex a pair of scissors over there. And um, she can get that last one out for us. Thank you. While we get busy on finishing this. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to fussy cut it. So we have this page now. Let's see, it might be too busy and we might need another right. color behind it. So, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go get another stitch rectangle and I am gonna die cut it, okay? I'm gonna grab this stitched rectangle. It's just over on my other table. I'm Donna gonna grab... says they are so cold, it's starting to get warmer. Oh, sis, I don't know how you do it. I'll take this warm weather any day. And it's not warm. <laughs> okay, so these rectangles need a little help when I go through. There we go. All right. All right. Let me get that rectangle out of there. Okay. So I also wanted to turn this in. I needed another sentiment. So I thought I'd make this a thinking of you card. 
kind of. Just letting somebody know that I'm just thinking of them today. It doesn't have to be like they've got something going on. It's just letting them know that I wanted to send them this card mm -hmm. and I was just thinking of them, okay? So we've got that on there with our Poppy Parade and I'm just loving the red pop. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a tulip stem and I'm gonna use my liquid glue. Now, had I been thinking, I could have put all of this on that adhesive back, oh, uh, yeah. adhesive sheet, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I'll probably end up cutting that off. Then I'm gonna use a leaf. I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit. And use a leaf. And then put my tulip on. I have to bring that down, just down a little bit. So now I wanna put this on here. So I'm gonna to have to cut this stem. Should I cut it there? Yeah. We're gonna put that one right there in that card. That's cute. Yeah, it's looking cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. One of the things you wanna think about when you're doing one of these cards is not using a lot of dimensionals. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it fits in an envelope, but it's pretty thick already. So you kinda of don't wanna use a lot of dimensionals. Yes, we use some string, the twine. I would say, you know, use ribbon but you just don't want to go crazy. I'd be careful of the bling too because it could indent the um, the layer that's Absolutely. laying on top of it. Absolutely. Okay, so over here, let's see. Oh, I like that. You like the poppy on this side? Mm -hmm. Okay, not the poppy. What color is that? Uh, I like how <laughs> that's a tulip and it is purple. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive us. Okay. Yeah, I was calling it a poppy because it's on the poppy parade. Mm -hmm. Boy. They do have a poppy set that would be really pretty with this too. Oh yeah, okay. Now that it got the glue everywhere, I'll bring that in up a little higher. The silicone mat would also be helpful because then you could just rub the glue right off of it. Absolutely. I think I'm gonna put this leaf this way this time. And I'm gonna put the flower over the leaf? No? Yes. Yes, I like that. Just little things like this give us joy and happiness. I'm gonna use my eraser again. I got a little Tombow too much and it's gonna be flat so I don't want I don't want it to um, seal in the yeah, envelope. I don't want that, that chance. What do you think? I, I think, think that's, that's cute. cute. Or does it need a second one on this page? Nope. Okay. Because you have to have room to write, and I think that is just enough. So now we need to do these pages. Hmm. Right? <laughs> no? It's cute. But needs more white. It needs more white. Okay. So <gasps> or the Highland Heather. I'm looking at. Or the Highland Heather. That one's fresh Frasia. I want the paper. Well, she's thinking Highland Heather. But the TSB. Uh, <laughs> well why don't you just tell me? <laughs> Karen, use the DSP. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, so let me bring in the trimmer. Okay, but that's gonna be too purple with that, don't oh. you think? I'm gonna cut this down to three inches. No. <laughs> All right. Actually, I don't need it three inches, but I am gonna get a different rectangle, y'all. Let me grab that. We're just right here. I just want a longer, skinnier. Right. And this is why we have rolly chairs. <laughs> okay. So, I just want um, longer, skinnier. I know I said I wasn't going to die cut anymore. 
but I like this. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna be pretty. And I need a skinnier die. Y'all, if you could see the edges. <laughs> My table is crazy. It's, it's clean to like here. That's okay, but that I'm a crafter. Mm -hmm. And I'm entitled. Everybody needs to make a mess when they're crafting. Okay. So I don't have enough stems. And I don't want to cut another stem. I can cut one real quick. I'm gonna stamp it. Okay, here's a stem. stem. And then a pair of pizzazz. Okay, she said she's gonna fussy cut. That way you just don't have to bring out that die set. One more time. It's okay. We're creating the card with them, and that's okay. All right. So I've got those two pieces cut. Let me put this aside. All right, we're going to take this piece. You sure it shouldn't be white? I'm thinking that one needs to be white. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Sometimes we have to sit and think. There are a lot of sides to decorate, guys. I will tell you that right now. So be prepared. Unless you just want simple. And there's nothing wrong with simple. This is... Like, you could just weird to take it. the DSP. And um, just use the DSP if you wanted to and not put anything on it, let it speak for itself. Mm -hmm. I kind of chopped off the end, but it will. Okay, I might chop off the end anyway. Exactly. Okay. I'm gonna turn this leaf. Kind of put this wonky, I don't know. There we have that side. Cute. Okay, so say that's the start of your book, your card, but it's not. This is my start. And then we go on to this. And then we go on to this. So when it goes in the envelope, this is what they will see right away. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing I could do if I didn't wanna do a stem Just kind of place these guys. I guess I'm gonna need that stem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I am gonna use the two tulips. Yeah, I like the two tulips. I do too. I think they're awesome. Okay. I mean, we made three very different cards. There's a beachy one, there's a gardening one. So it's not, and this, this isn't kinda, limited this is, to anything. No. Oh my gosh, look at the DSP you have. Mm -hmm. And um, go from there. Yeah, what you wanna play with and... Alex's phone keeps going off. <laughs> it's probably her brother. He loves to call her. Same time, every day. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one way down this time. Well, I said way down, but it's not that far down. Mm, I think it'll be cute. Okay, I'm gonna do this one first. Plus, it's a good use up if you're looking to make things with a lot of DSP. And show off your DSP, this is a good one. Look at that, guys. I love it. Okay, so here we go. That is the front. This is what they're gonna see when they open up 
the envelope, which I need to make an envelope, but that's okay. Then they're gonna go to the next page and look, and then they're gonna see the just thinking of you today. And then I got lots of room to write mm -hmm. somebody a message, which I keep picking up stuff in here. Lots of room. And then it starts all over again. I really, really love that. And it's great because they can just display it. Exactly. And somebody can come along and spin it mm -hmm. and look through it. Yeah. This would be cute with a little album. Like album? Your, your sprocket. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I might have to try that. Be really cute. Little Savannah pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. We truly appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind, go hit the subscribe and the like. Um, we really, really would appreciate you subscribing to this channel. And if you like this card, go on over to my blog and print out the tutorial. Mm -hmm. It's there. Yes. If you have any questions at all, feel free to message us. We will get back to you or leave us a comment, but we will get back.